this is part 20 of my preparation for exam NSE 49. This is the second part of um, preparation for SSL VPN. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer and VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Configuring SSL VPN. First, user and authentication. You need to set up user accounts and groups for remote SSL VPN users. Second, you configure SSL VPN portals. Step three, you configure SSL VPN settings. Step four, create a firewall policy to and from the SSL VPN interface. You can find it in policy and objects. Step five, optionally, you can create a firewall policy to allow SSL VPN traffic to the internet, policy and objects. It's useful to allow all clients traffic through FortiGate to internet when split tunneling is disabled. FortiGate can be used to apply security profiles. All FortiGate authentication methods, with an exception of remote password authentication, using FSSO Fortinet single sign-on protocol and can be used for SSL VPN authentication. This includes local password authentication and remote password authentication. Protocols used could be LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, Radius, TACAX protocols, SSL VPN portal configuration. Using visual, visual graphical interface, go to VPN, SSL VPN portals. SSL VPN portals determine the access profiles. You can configure portals for different users and groups. SSL VPN portals can operate in tunnel mode. Activate split tunneling in Enable split tunneling option. Assign an IP address to the end user virtual network adapter in source IP pool 40 SSL. Web mode. Use direct connection or bookmarks to several applications. You can use protocols such as FTP file transfer protocol, HTTP, HTTPS, RDP, remote desktop protocol, SMB, CIFS, SSH, Telnet, VNC. You can individually configure and add link to each portal to a specific user or a user group so they can access to only required resources. SSL VPN settings configuration. FortiGate interface for SSL VPN portal. Default port is port 443, valid setup on FortiGate. By default, the administrator, a graphical user interface and SSL VPN portal use the same HTTPS port. It's advised to use different interfaces for administration uh, 
graphical user access and for SSL VPN portal. If both services use the same interface and port, only SSL VPN appears on login portal. SSL VPN settings configuration tip 2. Restrict access to known hosts. SSL VPN timeout default idle is 5 minutes. It's disconnected after 300 seconds, uh, which is 5 minutes. Digital Server Certificate is self-signed certificate used by default. To avoid browser security warnings, use a certificate issued by a public CA certificate authority and generate a trust certificate or install the self-signed certificate on all clients. Using graphical user interface, you go to VPN, SSL VPN settings. Define the IP range for SSL VPN. IP addresses are assigned to clients' virtual adapters while joined to virtual private network. IP allocation has two methods. First method is first available. It is uh, used by default. And setup way is common line interface only. And second way is round robin. Address pools assigned in the web portal are ignored. To set up, we put conf VPN SSL settings. Set tunnel dash adder dash assign dash method. And there we put first dash available or round dash robin. And then put end at the end of the configuration. Resolve names by DNS server. Use internal DNS, which is domain name system, domain name server, if resolving internal domain names. Optionally, resolve names by WINS servers. WINS stands for Windows Internet Name Service. Windows Internet Name Service is an essential part of Microsoft networking topology. In older days, you were required to run Wins server in order to avoid name resolution problems within Windows networks. And today DNS um, has almost replaced Wins. Most DNS servers are able to handle NetBIOS requests. Specify authentication portal mapping. Specify Portals for each user or group. Define portal for all other users or groups. It cannot be deleted. Firewall policies to and from SSL VPN interface. Firewall policies listen for connections to the SSL VPN portal. SSL dot put the VDOM name policy enables portal with user authentication. The selected incoming interface 
is the SSL VPN virtual interface. For example, SSL dot root for root with DOM passes decrypted traffic to the selected outgoing interface. To activate and log into the SSL VPN, there must be a firewall policy from the SSL VPN interface to which you want to allow access for the SSL VPN users. It includes all of the users and groups that can log in at the same time. Without a policy link like this, no login portal is presented to users. If there are resources behind other interfaces that users need to create, additional policies that allow traffic from SSL.root to exit those interfaces. For example, access to resources. All traffic generated by user exits through SSL. Then we put um, the DOM name interface. It applies to both web and tunnel mode. To apply using command line interface, put commands, edit, set DST, ADDR all, set DST, ADDR database, set DST, ADDR mail server. Configuring SSL VPN FortiGate as a server. SSL VPN server FortiGate. First, set up user account and groups for remote SSL VPN users. Create two accounts, local or remote and PKI account, public key infrastructure account. Then require clients to authenticate using their credentials, using their certificates, as well as username and password. Configure SSL VPN portals. Step three. Configure SSL VPN settings. Authentication rules include both accounts. Step 4. Create a firewall policy to and from the SSL VPN interface. Step 5. Create a firewall policy to allow SSL VPN traffic to the interface, to, to the internet and this option it's optional. To create a firewall policy, you go to user authentication, um, then user definition, and then choose PKI, public key infrastructure. Use common line interface to create first PKI user to get PKI menu in graphical user interface. To create using a command line interface, I put command config user peer, edit PKI, set CA, then put CA certificate, set CN, put the um, CN, uh, and then end CN can only be created or configured in common land interface. CN is common name, is the last element in the object's um, DN, distinguished name hierarchy. Thank you.